hello dear students so welcome all in this lockdown lecture series so today we are going to discuss about the diseases of coriander so in this lecture we will discuss about the what are the uh, coriander diseases what is the etiology what are the management practices and uh, what are the disease cycle like that so coriander is the one of the most important crop of uh, Rajasthan as a, it is used as a spices crop because uh, Rajasthan is the major hub of the spices crop uh, uh, like uh, fennel, fenugreek, uh, uh, cumin. So here, if you see the diseases of uh, coriander, then uh, you see that uh, stem gall of coriander that is the most important disease of a coriander nowadays. And it is caused by the Protomyces megasporus, that is the uh, Ascomycetes fungus. And another one is the powdery mildew of coriander, and uh, it is also caused by the ECP polygony. And another one is the wilt is also as uh, comes in a severe condition, that is caused by Fusarium obliquorum. And uh, some more diseases are there like seed rot and seedling motility, that is caused by several fungus uh, like Artemaria. Correct carol area, Aspergillus, Penicillium, Fusarium, because they all uh, are uh, almost that uh, means saprophytic and they cause uh, a rotting in the seeds uh, during the germination. So, next uh, that uh, uh, stem gall disease, and that uh, disease is uh, only in your syllabus. So, if you uh, see the coriander. Is the belongs to the APSC family and it is already I told that the spice is crop and uh, generally whole uh, that the cor uh, coriander plant is edible but uh, mostly we are using that green leaves and dried seed uh, as a spices and that coriander uh, gall disease uh, generally uh, causes loss in quality as well as quantity also and the disease is a systemic in nature and affect all aerial parts means that disease affect all parts except root root ko sod ke sabhi part pe ye disease attack karta hai and that is a form a tumor swelling that uh, in stem that uh, leaves uh, veins flowers fruits uh, that's called a that's why it is called a stem gall of uh, yeah, for, uh, tumor. So next, uh, if you see the symptom of the disease, generally I already told that uh, comes in a area, all aerial parts and uh, causing a tumor-like swelling in leaf, leaflets, peduncles, stems, fruits, flowers, all aerial parts. So. Initially, that vein of the leaf showing a swelling, that vein of the leaf become a thick, thick and showing a swelling appearance is there. And initially, tumor are soft in nature, but uh, uh, later uh, in old stage, they become a hard, hard. So we say in young stage they are soft, and in old stage become a hard. And if you see the size of the tumor, and uh, the 3 mm broad and width is the 3 mm and length if you see that is the uh, 12.5 mm like that this type of tumors are seen on a stem, roots, leaves, all aerial parts and that uh, also they uh, cause a mole formation in the flower region due to uh, hypertrophy conditions so flower become a hypertrophied and uh, fruit also if it comes in a later stage and uh, fruit also become a hypertrophied so if uh, it comes in an early stage then there is a no uh, fruit, fruit set and uh, seed set is there and uh, badly affected yeah severely infected plant may die yeah whole plant may be killed and uh, the disease generally comes under the heavy moisture condition and shady condition. When the nursery of coriander plant is under heavy irrigated 
otherwise presence of heavy moisture and sandy condition is there then the disease attack is more so there these are the symptom of that uh, gall disease uh, next if you see the symptoms on the diagram you see that uh, hypertrophy on that uh, flower region that flower flower are malformed and hypertrophied and if you see the symptom on the stems you see that like uh, ants these all are galls on the stem stem on the leaf and other flower or fruits like that uh, galls are found on a stem and leaf regions if we see the pathogens uh, uh, that is the uh, protomyces macrosporus and hypa of that pathogen is uh, intercellular and uh, closely septed because it is a stomycetes fungus so hypa are the separate septed and branched and they form a clamored spore as a resting structure because uh, in a tumor only the mycelium is there and uh, at the harvesting stage yeah, then crop become a mature then well, at the completion of a season the fungus form a clamored spore for a next season so clamored spore are found in a three layer structure means that clamored spore are in a three layer structure like that three layer so that that is a thick and a hard structure so they uh, uh, survive under the unfavorable condition and like that uh, if uh, i saw that uh, how they formed and uh, that is the fungal mycelium if you see that is like that separate fungal mycelium so somewhere uh, that uh, fungal mycelium become a rounded and thick like that and they, that mycelium is form a clamido spore that help in a survive for a under a unfavorable condition so if you see the systemic position of the fungus so that i already told that is ascomites fungus and the order if uh, if you see that is the tepherinales and family is the protomyces and the genus protomyces so you see that the systemic position of this fungus and if we see the disease cycle and uh, what are the favorable condition for disease development so that the most important thing is that, that the disease is the seed as well as soil born because mycelium survive in the seed and clamido spore that is the hard resting structure of that fungus is survive in a survive in a soil under unfavorable condition when the favorable condition is come then clamido spore will germinate and that uh, I, earlier i told that is a three layer structure so when favorable condition will come that outer cell first uh, outer wall, uh, layer is uh, ruptured and uh, inner layer form a vesicles like that and that vesicles is containing spore and that vesicle may undergo uh, for uh, several uh, divisions like 100 200 and uh, form a uh, nucleus the daughter nucleus and that daughter nucleus uh, act as a spore and further that uh, also that the daughter nucleus are going under a budding like yeast budding and that may form a further spore that is for in fact a uh, next uh, season yeah, that uh, that act as a primary inoculum and infect the crop and cause a disease so that is the disease cycle and if you see the favorable conditions so the disease comes under the high moisture and low temperature and uh, mostly the disease uh, diseases are covered by a nitrogen fertilizer but in case of uh, stem wall of coriander that phosphorus uh, are uh, make a plant susceptible to the disease and nitrogen and potassium are provide a resistance against that stem wall disease the phosphorus if we apply the more phosphorus then plant become more susceptible for that disease and ps 7.5 was the most suitable for that disease 7.5 slightly 
न्यूट्रल और स्लाइटली एसिडिक कंडीशन है सो अंडर स्लाइटली बेसिक कंडीशन सो अंडर एसिडिक कंडीशन द प्लांट शोइंग रेजिस्टेंस और अदरवाइज वी कैन से दैट इन एसिडिक कंडीशन दैट इज नो दैट इज अकरेंस ऑफ अ डिजीज इज मिनिमम एंड दैट इज नो अकरेंस ऑफ अ डिजीज सो अंडर बेसिक कंडीशन अराउंड न्यूट्रल कंडीशन डिजीज में अकर सो दैट इज फेवरेबल वन यू रिमेंबर दैट फास्फोरस that is uh favor the disease development next uh, if we see the management practices what are the management practices we should adopt so that uh, already i told that uh, this is the seed and soil one so you select the healthy seed mal that take a healthy seed for sowing suitable crop rotation also because climate is for our survive in the soil so if you take a three to four year crop rotation that uh, way that will uh, help to minimize the disease development also and uh, seed borne disease and uh, use the thyram and vavastin for a seed treatment uh, at the rate of a 4 gram and 2 uh, gram respectively per kg of the seed and also uh, when disease uh, come in the field uh, you can uh, spray that 0.1 percent is carbendazim also Uh, that uh, may help to reduce the symptom of the disease and uh, spray may repeat after 20 days uh, of uh, that uh, first spray or uh, we can say that every 20 days we can repeat that uh, spray and uh, one more thing is the the disease uh, affect less in the early and late sowing crop if we sow so uh, done the sowing in early season yeah otherwise we can go for a late that uh, may help to prevent uh, the, the disease so around 16 uh, october to 16 november give the maximum is uh, give the minimum yield loss matlab maximum disease resistance they provide uh, and late and early sown crop one more thing you use the disease uh, resistance varieties like jd1 g53651 yeah that panth harithuma ud50 rcr41 ya panth1 these varieties are resistant against stem borne diseases now we discuss some important questions so first that coriander wilt is caused by so wilt is generally caused by bacteria or fungus but uh, in coriander uh, that is caused by a fungus that fusarium of this spore seed rot and seedling mortality can be reduced by application of a fungicide so seed rot how we reduce seed rot pro seed treatment because if we uh, go for foliar spray or uh, soil treatment uh, or soil drenching that uh, will not effective so we use seed treatment to reduce the seedling mortality fusarium of this spore species coriander uh, overwinter in the form of a chlamydo spore so generally chlamydo spore are the main character of a fusarium but some fungus also that produce chlamydo spore like that we have already discussed that protomyces macrospores that stem wall of coriander may produce a chlamydo spore so optimum temperature for fusarium will fusarium will generally come under a high temperature okay so more than 25 degrees centigrade so that 28 degrees centigrade temperature is the uh, right answer so fusarium wilt of a coriander is more serious at the ps 6.9 means around 7 that uh, is the uh, ps that uh, under this the disease is comes under in a more severe condition stem gall of coriander is caused by that is the famous question of jrf also that is a protomyces macro sporus similarly stem gall fungus in fumarus is form, found as already i told that mycelia well the galls uh, the part that present present in a galls only or only that is the mycelia because the clamato spore form a, during the uh, at the harvesting stage or that crop uh, comes in a maturity so that uh, uh, may help in a uh, fungus to survive in a adverse climatic condition so these are 
we go for a next question also next slide also that ha uh, istanbul fungus produce that is a chlamydo spore because they do not produce cristofisia parathisia or u spore because u spore is the main character of u mycetes and that fungus is belong to spore mycetes so they produce a chlamydo spore poudimidi of a coriander is comes under because all poudimidis are uh, always comes under the dry weather condition similarly poudimidi of a coriander is spoiled by the dcp poly gone optimum temperature for coriander germination of a uh, dcp polygony that is the 20 to 24 degree centigrade because it comes under dry condition as well as slightly higher temperature that the 20 to 24 degree temperature is the convenient for as is optimum for for coriander germination stem goal of coriander incidence increases with the application of that is the phosphorus because potassium and nitrogen is provide a resistance uh, in case of a stem goal otherwise that nitrogen in or uh, in uh, other case we can say they provide a susceptibility or yeah, that is a uh, plant are more susceptible uh, in case of a high nitrogen uh, fertilizer. So powdery mildew can be reduced by the application of that is the famous fungicide that is Kera. Yeah. And in absence of a Christothecia powdery mildew fungus over winter. So if you see the U spore and uh, Zoo spore that are the main uh, spore of a Kumaistis fungus. But that uh, powdery mildew is the Eskumaistis fungus. So if there is a no uh, formation of a cleaved tissue, then it forms a conidial formation. So fungus uh, or in the form of a mycelium, or we can say the uh, conidia formation. So this is all about the coriander. So thank you so much.